Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Firstly, I would like to just apologise for the lack of videos that have been up from the last week. I actually got back from my holiday yesterday, um, which was absolutely amazing. I went to Santorini, um, and that's why there haven't been any videos. But also, I filmed quite a few videos before I went and just didn't have time to sort them out and get them up. So they're going to be in a bit of an odd order because I want to get this video up now. Um, and then the other videos are going to say I'm buying things for my holiday, so they're going to be a bit backwards. So apologies about that. Um, but I wanted to share with you the bits that I got from holiday, also because some of them are gifts, so I kind of need to get this done and up. Um, the first thing I want to show you is this. This is a piece of artwork from like a street vendor. We stay in a place called Kamari. Um, and he's got a website, it's 3dfreeart.com. No, 3dfeelart.com, sorry. Um, and it's made with different layers of perspex, and he's drawn different images on each layer. So it creates this image, um, and this is a, an image of Ia, which is a, city, a town in Santorini that we did spend the day. Um, and it, there is like a little stand that he made from wire just to kind of prop it up. Obviously I'm not going to hold it up at the minute. But we just thought that would look really lovely and he said it looks even better if you put it somewhere like a windowsill so you can see the light shining through it. So really, really happy with that. That cost us um, 30 euros actually and he was making the backgrounds there just um, in the street and the amount of time it must take him to create these is just phenomenal um, also in terms of artwork we went to a shop called Star um, again it was in this one was in Kamari and you can see the artist's name here it says unique design but I don't want to insult anybody by saying that name wrong um, and this gentleman creates these designs this is one of his designs and then they're recreated on t-shirts postcards bags glasses all things like that um, and he gave us two postcards while we we're in there because we I mean, we didn't spend a lot but we bought a fair few bits um so he gave us those as well which was really lovely it's got the information on the back of there as well We've got like an instagram account and stuff um really fun business card as well quite like the shape of that I thought that was kind of cool and what we got in there, we we got some glasses. So Matt picked up this tankard, and we got all of the glasses with the same pattern, with this um like sketch of ear. So he picked up the tankard that was eight euros. I picked up the tumbler, which was I want to say six. I think this was six euros. Um, and then we got some shot glasses that were three. Oh no, that was four euros. Sorry, four I think. Then we picked up some shot glasses. These were three euros each. So I got four different designs for my two sisters and my brothers in my brother-in-law and my sister-in-law. Um, so we got the same design on all of them, but different shapes. And I also bought my mum a mug. Actually, it was like a an off-white mug. It's got the same pattern on it, but she's already using it. And that was six euros. So actually, they weren't that bad price considering that. As I say, these are just a bit more unique. I'm trying to see if I can get a better background for you to see it better. Oh, just thought it was better because it's you know it's a unique design. It's not just sort of those like tacky ones you can get. I just thought they were a little bit nicer. So yeah, we picked those bits up, and we also picked up um like a Zippo lighter with the same design on for Matt's dad. Um, and then we picked up some olive oil for ourselves. So we picked up this large one here. This was eight euros fifty. It's infused with different herbs. Um, I'm going to have to kind of settle it again because it's been laying on its side. This is just a sticker. It does peel off. We checked because I, was, I wasn't that keen on the design. Um, and we want to get a, a better top for this so we can use it as like drizzling. And then we bought two little mini ones which we thought would look really cute on like the windowsill in the kitchen. I like the little stoppers on the top. Um, and we bought those more for decorative purposes. I really want um, an olive oil bottle, a really nice shaped one that I can put washing up liquid in because that looks really lovely in the kitchen I saw that on somebody's YouTube channel recently um, and we originally talked about using this one because we like the shape but I really like how pretty it is with all the herbs so I think we might keep this one as it is and use that as more of a decorative piece but I'm really happy with those pick those up just in different shops um, on the main strip um, and then we picked up uh, various different magnets some for us some for family and friends um, so if I just whiz through these so you've got some of these ones that are like kind of holographic. So you've got this one and then there's this one. It's got different images there. You've got the volcano in that one. Then there is that one. And then the last one's still in the bag. I haven't given it to my sister yet, so I have to kind of be gentle with this. 
because some of the some shops wrap things and some shops don't that's the last one it's gonna be my sister's as i say we have not seen her yet so i will give that to her when i do um and then we got some of these larger ones so we stopped at um an island called thracia these pictures aren't actually of the island these this picture definitely is of ear i'm not sure about that one that looks like ear to me rather than thracia but i could be mistaken there um but that's where we bought these these magnets these were four euros these ones and they're like plastic like perspex on top of the photograph picked those two up um we picked up these two because we actually did a hike up the volcano um we did something like something stupid like sixteen thousand steps that day because we did a hike up the volcano visited three of the craters one of which is still active um we went swimming in the hot springs we went to thracia then we went to Ia, we watched the sunset, and then we travelled home again, well, back to the hotel again. Um, and that was just a phenomenal day. And we really loved the fact that at the top of the volcano, at the crater, you can actually see the smoke coming out, and there's certain areas you can put your hand and feel the heat. Um, and we just thought that was one of those things you don't often get to do, to be able to stand on an active volcano. So that's why we picked up these ones. These are for us. And these were, I want to say they were 2.50. I think they were €2.50 um, for each of those. And then these two we picked up, we really liked the little bottles on them. So we've got two different ones, two different views of Ia. They both say Santorini on them. Um, and that's obviously Ia at night and that's Ia at the day um, with one of the famous Blue Domed churches. So we got those. Um, and then pretty much the only other thing that we picked up when we were out there, I say the only other thing, you'll see why, why I'm hesitant in a second, were some sunglasses. Now we found that there were some Ray-Bans out in Greece, not real ones, obviously, just fakes. Um, but they were really, really good value. And it turns out we've got really similar tasting glasses. And we ended up buying quite a lot of pairs. Um, yeah, you'll see what I mean. Um, some shops gave us bags from, some shops didn't. So this isn't just all of them. Some of these have more than one pair inside. And you'll see that we bought a lot of the same styles. Um, but most of these averaged oh you're going to see me in it now because they're very reflective um let me see if i can just put that there so you can see a bit better pretty much all of these were either eight nine or ten euros the majority were eight euros there were a couple that cost us nine or ten but most as i say were eight euros which eight euros for a decent pair of sunglasses is really really good value so we got quite a few of this style here so that one's got like a bluey green oil thing you can really see me i should probably have put you know something longer on <laughs> hope you can't see up my dress i apologize if you can um same style again but these ones have got the blue lenses and it's got like a blue wood effect at the top like that they're a little bit dirty because obviously we were wearing a lot of sun cream when we were out there so some of the glasses are a little bit smudged I need to give them a bit of a clean oh i can't get these out i'll come back to those ones um poor Matt had to like try and shove all these in the bags on the last day oh no well that's one broken pair we did worry that some of these were going to get broken in transit because they all got shoved in the top of his case and obviously oh that's a shame we have got a broken pair casualty um same style as the first ones but these ones have got like a reddy brown effect and then like yellowy orange lenses here um, then we've got some aviators. These ones are like a bluey green. And literally, you're just getting a free tour of my bedroom with these sunglasses. I should have thought this through. Let's see if I can get these ones out now. I really can't. What have you done, Matthew? What has happened here? Here we go. Um, another pair of aviators. These ones are a really light green. So slightly different to those ones. Then we've got a style like this. These have got blue lenses. And then like a black frame. Then we've got another pair like the very first set. But these ones have got black at the top and more of an orangey red lens there. And then we've got this pair here. This is the first pair I picked up. Oh, hello. Um, this is the first pair I picked up. Um, and they're like a tortoise shell and they've got like a light blue lens. Quite liked those. Um, then we've got, oh dear, are there any more in any of these? No, this is it, last two. So then we've got this pair which is pretty much the same as this pair at the top, 
same shape but different colour lens. And then Matt's favourite ones, Aviators, like a bluey green lens, green lens but bright green on the side. So he really, really liked those ones. And as I say, pretty much everything here costs us about eight euros each. I'm a bit gutted about them ones, especially as the shape of them. But you can see they've looked, they've been completely crushed by something in the case. Um, they were on the top of his suitcase. I wonder when it might have been when they've been taken on and off the airport. But luckily, as I say, we didn't pay a lot for all of these. So, um, yeah, it's just a bit of a shame, really. But there you go. Um, yeah, those are the other bits that we picked up. So pretty much not this was the main thing we kind of spent our money on a couple of glasses for each of us the olive oil but my favorite item has obviously got to be this and to sit there and watch him make it was just really really interesting but yeah so that's my little haul um the only other things that i've bought re really are some epsom salts because i hurt my back when we were on holiday i haven't even got them to hand i was going to show you but i'm just waffling now this is ridiculous um i bought a couple of packets of epsom salts in the pound shop um one of the lavender and one of the eucalyptus. Let's see if I can get them. Oh, I can. Just here on the floor. Um, so one packet of the eucalyptus, one packet of the lavender. Pick those up because, as I say, I really, really hurt my back on holiday when we were hiking. I slipped over. Um, and then the waves in the sea were just whacking it. So I'm going to run myself a little bath and try and soothe my aching muscles. So thank you everybody. I feel like I've really rambled and I do apologise if I have. Um, I feel really out of practice. It's only been just over a week. But as I say, the videos are going to seem a little bit odd because the next videos you'll see after this one will be me showing you things I've bought for my holiday because I just didn't get time to put them up. So um, I do apologise about that. But I hope you enjoy watching them anyway. Thank you everybody for watching. I'm going to stop rambling now. Stop taking up all of your, your evening. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye.